So with Ubuntu 16.04 hitting end of life later this month, I thought about the Unity desktop and how controversial it was in the Linux community for trying to reinvent the wheel, so to speak, among other things. And I asked myself, was Unity really that bad? It's one of those questions where if you ask a dozen different people, you'll get a dozen different answers. Now, for me personally, and this is speaking from someone who hasn't really got to experience Ubuntu during the Unity era, I think that the Unity desktop really made Ubuntu unique as a distribution, because that meant that it shipped with its own desktop environment just for it. And I actually personally do like the look of Unity desktop, but I also figured that the only way to answer this question fairly is to actually install Unity in a virtual machine. And well, how is it? Well, we'll just have to try it out and see. Oh, and by the way, I also put the old Ubuntu 14.04 wallpaper on it, just to add a little bit of extra nostalgia to this video. But actually, despite it looking like an older Ubuntu release, it's actually Ubuntu 20.04 under the hood. And I'll show you that once we get to trying out the desktop. Since you can actually still install Unity on even the latest versions of Ubuntu, just by opening up a terminal and typing sudo apt install ubuntu unity desktop and i'll have that in the description but without further ado let's get right into it all right so now first thing you notice with the unity desktop is that it actually looks really good like for its time this is actually kind of cutting edge i'd say that it even looks better than windows 10 especially with this wallpaper but anyway one key feature of the unity desktop is the dash which allows you to search for anything on your computer in just one place say i want to search for the documents folder there we go or for an application like firefox it's there i know it's on my dock but just saying and if we look up here We've actually got a lot of controls up here, including to log out, suspend or shut down the system, including a shortcut to the system settings, like what we have here, and about this computer and the Ubuntu help page. And if you click on about this computer, you can see that despite its looks, it's actually still Ubuntu 20.04 under the hood. And we've got other controls up here. Now, as you can see, this actually resembled macOS quite a bit. Some people liked it, others did not. Now, one other controversial thing about the Unity desktop besides kind of reinventing the wheel. Oh, and also we have a global menu up here. That's actually better shown in the LibreOffice application, like that. But anyway, if you go to security and privacy and then go to search, there was this include online results in the dash. It doesn't work now because that service is discontinued, but basically what that would do is it would send whatever you typed in the dash to Amazon and then it would show you Amazon products based on your search terms. Canonical did this to bring in some revenue. What was even more controversial about this is that from 12.10 when this is introduced all the way up to 16.04, it was opt out instead of opt in. In other words, it was enabled by default. Now when Ubuntu 16.04 hit the scene, they actually disabled this by default. However, you could disable this just by going here and toggling this off. But yeah, in the end, those are the two reasons why Unity is controversial in the Linux community, because it kind of reinvented the wheel, like like GNOME 3 did, you know, the desktop environment that this replaced on Ubuntu, and also because of that product search thing. But for better or for worse, it's really just a desktop environment. But since there's not really much to go over, and I don't want this to sway to more of a first impressions video, let's call it a day and shut this down. So in conclusion, was Unity that bad? Well, no, and this is my opinion, but despite all its faults, it truly made Ubuntu unique as a distribution, and it actually looks like a very good desktop environment, even by 2021 standards. And there are people out there that actually liked this desktop environment, or even really liked it. I mean, hey, after all, that is why you can still install Unity on the latest versions of Ubuntu. But anyways, thanks for for watching. If you liked this video, found it interesting or informative, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.